Good evening <clears throat> and welcome to hell. All right, you guys know how I made a video uh, recently about uh, the Hells Angels coming to my town. Well, like I said in the video, they're already here. Uh, Hells Angels have a clubhouse here in town. They've, they've, they're set up here. This is one of their states. Um, and like I said, we've also got the uh, Banditos here and uh, Sons of Silence. And, um, you know, I've been mentioning in my videos here and there for a while about how I can't believe people that things haven't been like um, starting how things haven't how people haven't been I'm surprised that people haven't been stepping up to the plate or I've said you know uh, here real soon you know motherfuckers aren't going to be putting up with this shit with all kinds of subjects of fucked up things going on around here in this country. But now, you know, I even remember mentioning, uh, you know, how, how, how do these fucking people think they're going to come to our country and just fucking, you know, rob people and, and take it, you know, and, and just do the things that they're doing. Like, like they're tearing up New York city. That, New York City's gone. Yeah, I mean, there is no saving that. But uh, the shit ain't going to be... Just people aren't going to be putting up with this shit for much longer. Our government knows it. The cops know it. But And that's why it's all planned. Like, they, for every action, they know there's going to be a reaction. And they know what the reaction is going to be. So... It's not like there's a fucking motorcade of fucking hell's angels coming coming to to my town to come and handle some business. They're already here and they've got reinforcements and I mean this is going to happen. I guarantee it because that's what they want. Not not the not the bikers. Not the, it's what the ones that are running the show want. Obviously. So this shit's going to go down. Uh, there's too many people in this world that are in this world. There's too many people, uh, too many Americans that are only going to put up with so much shit. Like, I can't believe it's gotten this far. Like, I, I, I honestly cannot believe that something hasn't already uh, been done. Uh, just there, there's um, you know, there's how do I say this? I mean, to an extent, everybody already knows this, but to another extent, there's people that don't have a fucking clue. There are people in this world, and especially in this country. Uh, that don't fuck around. And they don't care about laws. And they don't care about cops. These people basically base their, um, their, their values, their, um, morals. It's all based around respect. And, uh, you know, respect is a very big word. Uh, it means a lot. And, um, I don't know what these motherfuckers are thinking. They're going to come to our country and start disrespecting, uh, and preying on, uh, the weak and the innocent and, you know, <laughs> 
I mean, what are they thinking? I guess they're not thinking. Because they're about to find out. What's that saying? Fuck around and find out. They're about to find out because they already fucked around. So anyway, I'm going to hit play. This is like a um, continuance of my first video talking about uh, people getting sick of the bullshit. What's going on in Aurora, Colorado? I mean, they're taking over the city. They're taking over. No, they're not. Apartment complexes. And this is happening yeah, all they over, are. just not Colorado. But the, the Colorado thing caught the imagination because there were many of them with the biggest weapons that you've ever seen. So this is a gang That's from ridiculous. Venezuela called Tren de Agua. And what happened in Venezuela is the government let a bunch of these dudes out of prison and sent them to go cross the border to come over here. Thanks, Venezuela. And now they're taking over whole apartment complexes out there in Aurora, Colorado. And they're doing a lot of damage in New York. And El Paso, Texas is on high alert right now because of how much damage they're doing out there. But uh, America already has its own organizations and criminal elements. And none of them are taking too kindly to any of this. One in specifically who's been rumored to be stepping up, and we're going to talk about that right now, is the Hells Angels. So the Hells Angels are one of the first and one of the most powerful biker MCs on the entire planet. And if they're coming for you, it's already guaranteed that you need to stop, drop, roll, dig a little hole, crawl inside it, and probably die before they get their hands on you. I've worked with some of these dudes and they were great to do business with because they acted very professionally, but they are definitely no joke and you do not want to piss these dudes off. And the internet is exploding with rumors right now that the Hells Angels are on their way to Aurora, Colorado to deal with Tren de Agua. So let's get into this and see what we can figure out if there's any truth to that or if there's not and what we think is going to happen when they face off Tren with these Venezuelans. Tren de Agua sounds like I, sounds, more sounds like I need to watch it. right now aurora police officers they're patrolling areas of suspected gang activity and that includes this apartment building this is the one at dallas street and 12th avenue where venezuelan gang members have been caught on camera with guns breaking into units wait 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 wait, wait. i thought none of this was actually happening and everybody who was saying anything about what was going on is a racist what happened oh yeah that's right we caught it on video it went national news and now trump and kamala harris are both talking about this and it's just been established as a fact and even the governor is talking about it funny how that works huh now so much of this has been the focus of national attention this week we have been reporting on this at the local level for weeks but police now say they're there as well engaging with residents <sighs> thank god nobody's gonna have to shoot their own dog because now the cops are there to do it for them but to be completely fair i'm pretty sure that the cops have known that this was a real life thing for at least a couple of weeks because they had a shootout with them and it was established that the higher ups in this organization have put a green light for them to attack any cops who tried to stop or pursue them while they were committing crimes aurora leaders say the city it's a safe place to live, to work, to shop. Hey, Jax, they said it's completely safe to live in Aurora. Should we go buy a house there? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't look super safe to me either. The video shows a group of men walking up a stairwell at the edge of Lowry apartment complex in Aurora. All of them appear to be carrying rifles and handguns in the video shot earlier this month. So I think at this point we've clearly established that if you are an American, if you are a law-abiding citizen, if you're even an American criminal, these dudes have now become the ops. So let's talk about the unsung heroes of this situation who are stepping in and are going to be doing something about this. The Hells Angel. And the internet has been flooded with rumors at this point that this is going to happen, but I have actually gotten in touch with someone who is an actual Hells Angel in the state of Colorado and I'm going to tell you what they said. Now, the first thing that you need to understand is that if the Hells Angels want to move on these dudes in Colorado, they do not have to flood in from other states. Colorado already has multiple chapters of the Hells Angels that are there, they're ready, and they're equipped to handle business if that's what they want to do. Now, could they call in backup? Absolutely, 100%. But each chapter would have to vote on that because that's the way that they work. They have autonomy. It's not all just run by one centralized government in their organization. What my contact on the inside in Colorado has told me is that they have plans to roll up 
Nothing more, nothing less. And that's a direct quote. And of course, that's an intentionally vague statement, which I would expect nothing less, because what you have to understand about these organizations is they're under constant surveillance, and they're always under the threat of RICO Act, which would not only affect them, but affect their brotherhood worldwide. But what does that actually mean? All I can say on that is, if you know, you know. And a big shout out, love and respect to all the homies out there in Colorado. I'm not gonna get too deep into their politics. It's not really my business. I am not a member of their organization but what I will say is that there is the potential for this to go higher and higher and escalate if these ops want to escalate the situation with them in fact other chapters from around the country have already issued a public warning to this Venezuelan gang if they don't stop cease and desist like immediately yeah they need to get the fuck the out of here in Aurora Colorado please heed my warning I did 10 years in the joint in the state of Kentucky I'm telling you right now the people that are coming known as the Hells Angels are not to be fucked with. You are getting ready to have a large swarm of men who are like-minded, brotherhood-driven, and will not govern themselves by the laws in which that you think that they will. You are getting ready to have a that you have never experienced in your life. And people that live on a certain side of the law may be perceived as whatever, but I promise you this, we know that you're taking advantage of defenseless people. You will be the ones calling the law. The police will allow it. Because you do not want men like me and the people that we associate with to descend upon you. Because we will not care about evidence. We will not care about any of that shit. There will be guns. There will be knives. And there will be no more time for questions. Please leave before you force the hand of a power that you do not know the extent of how far it reaches. You know, here I got. If you try to meet man. them with any time, this of... might sound fucked up, but I don't care, dude. I don't understand how people. You know, like I said, this is three miles away from my house. Uh. I guarantee you they wouldn't be pulling that shit on me, dude. I, I They must be picking on, like, single moms and shit. Because, <laughs> I mean... I know I wouldn't let them do that shit to me. And I know the people that I know wouldn't let them do it either. So, you know, these guys are just fucking picking on, you know, single moms and elderly people and shit. I mean... These guys are a bunch of little cockroaches. Positions? Cucarachas. You will die. You will die in the streets. They are gonna fuck you up. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I got that message loud and clear. I was absolutely picking up what he was putting down. I think he spelled that out absolutely perfectly. And if these dudes don't listen, I promise you, these are those ones, man. And then we need to talk about the possibilities beyond that. Because if they have any problem taking them out, the Hells Angels, there are right. other organizations that will step in and band with the Hells Angels. I know a lot of these people are outside of the law. That's what outlaws are. People that live outside of the law. And a lot of them have their own inner squabbles. But when it comes down to it, we are all Americans. And we do not want to see innocent people within our communities taken advantage of and done dirty the way that these people from the outside are. Yeah. There are bitter rivalries between certain MCs. I'm not going to get into which ones. That's not my business because I'm not a past Dang member it. of any of these MCs. But I can tell you that there is a high likelihood that they would set that aside to be able to take care of the business that needs to be handled out in yeah, Colorado, right, in New York, in Santa Fe, all across this country if New York's need be. Done. And these dudes would step in and handle what needs to be handled in the way that the police are not allowed to do. If that. things keep going in the direction that they've been going, there is a very high likelihood that we would Fuck. have a war yeah. Between American outlaws and the intruders who have managed to infiltrate our country with bad intention. I already know somebody's gonna call Cap and say that any outlaw biker is just a scumbag or a criminal. So I wanna show you this and let you know. Biker build off. Here we go. Down here building bikes at the clubhouse for the toy run. A lot more bikes to build. Feel free to come on down tonight and build some bikes. 
Greatly appreciated. Getting excited, see these kids' faces and give them their bikes. Some of these chapters are out here in real life doing more for their community than a lot of these churches out here on these streets. They just live a different type of lifestyle. They're big on their freedoms and they have more flexible views on the laws. Now in past videos where I've talked about the security risks and having our borders wide open, I've had quite a few people try to call me a racist. Fuck you, buddy. What race is people that are yeah. illegally migrating over here with bad intentions? It sounds to me like you've got some race yeah. pigeonholed you know, on that. See, you know I'm what? Fuck that. It's not even the ones that are coming here illegally with bad intentions. It's all of them coming here illegally. I don't give a fuck what their intentions are. It's all wrong. How about that? Talking about literally everybody, anybody who comes over here trying to perpetrate against our communities. I don't care if they're white, I don't care if they're black, I don't care if they're purple or green. If you are a scumbag coming over here to break the law and victimize our community, you are a piece of shit. Let's talk about how we got here for a second. Let me ask you guys a question. Try not to be smooth brained about this when you ponder this, but do you lock your fucking door at your house? Do you lock your door at your car when you leave your car? Do you understand why you? You do that why are locked doors important do you think that it's not important to lock the doors on our nation when we have so many enemies all around the world and now we have military age men flooding through the border 24 7 and you think that that's just cool man you think that that's cool yeah. you want to buy this party line saying that people who are against this are somehow inherently against other races america are is racist. a beautiful melting yeah. pot and there's a process to come over here legally become a part of our society and integrate into that society in a productive way and if you've come here to live outside of that and you've come here to victimize people that are american citizens yeah. i've got You're some not news for you bud this is america and we are going to fight back and if our own government isn't willing to do what it takes to keep the american citizens safe and have our backs but the hell's angels are i think i know exactly whose side i'm on what about you guys what do you guys think about all this please let me know in the comments so yeah I mean, I'm going to say this again, too. I don't think Donald Trump is going to be elected. There's a lot of people that think that he will be. But that's not how this game is played, all right? <laughs> I just don't see it happening. But if it does, if he gets, if he, if he gets, if he makes it back as president... His first day in office is going to be a purge of the migrants. But it, I just don't see it happening. I don't see him being elected. Of course, if the elections were real, he would probably be elected, but they're not. So let's not forget that. And I'm not picking any sides here. I'm just... Um, I'm just picking uh, l uh, logic. Somebody needs to do something. And obviously there's well, we know there's people that that are here to do that. Thank goodness. But I mean, another thing I said, dude, these fucking Aurora police victimize people all the time. Why aren't they over there victimizing these people? How is this even happening? The Aurora Police Department is one of the most fucked up police departments in the country. Look them up. Like I said in my previous video, I don't even go that way. I stay as far away from Aurora as I possibly can. Because of the cops. So why aren't these fucking Trindeaguas motherfuckers not feeling the same way as me? And they're right fucking in the heart of it. In the hood over there. That's the hood. It's the Colorado hood. <laughs> Ain't much of a hood, but it is. Anyway. I'm going to end this video. I'm ready to go to bed. Uh, see you guys soon. Have a great night, day, whatever.
Oh no.